Hello again. Today we're going to be applying some of what we learned about a series by talking about loans and how to calculate payments of those loans. So first of all, what is a personal loan? Well, it's the borrowing of money if you want to buy something uh, for yourself, like a house or a car, renovation, tuition, anything like that. Um, and so what you do is you go to a bank or a lending company and they will lend you that amount and you will have to pay it back, but you will also have to pay back an additional amount of money called interest. So the, the process of paying back that loan and interest, that's spread out over regular uh, payment intervals for however long you agree to borrow that money. And that process of paying it back is called amortization. All right, so let's talk about what interest actually is. It's just a specified percentage uh, that you agree to when you're borrowing the money. You agree that you're going to pay back the money plus an additional percentage of that money as kind of a fee uh, for borrowing the money. And so the interest is calculated on the reducing balance of the loan. So as time goes by, you're paying more of the loan off, and that means that the interest that's calculated as a percentage ends up being less as time goes by because you actually owe less as time goes by. So the total amount of interest that you pay is going to be uh, the total amount that you repaid minus the amount that you originally borrowed. All right, so here's how we talk about repayment. Um, we can create a table of repayments um, by just picking out different percentages, and I've chosen 2.5%, 3.5%, 4.5%, 5.5%, and you can figure out how much you would have to pay every month depending on how much time you were borrowing that money. So I'm going to start out by talking about one year and how much I would have to pay each month for one year in order to completely pay off the loan and the interest. All right, so I'm going to financial mode in my calculator. Um, so at the original menu um, on this screen, it looks like it's option C, um, but depending on the update on your calculator, it might be a different option, but it's always called financial. All right, and once you press that button, then you get this uh, menu of options and we are going to pick uh, compound interest, which is F2. Once you choose that, you're going to be asked for a list of inputs. N is the number of repayments, um, and I percent is the interest uh, rate as a percentage. Principal value is PV, and um, down at the bottom, P slash Y is the number of payments per year. All right, so we are going to make 12 payments. The interest rate is 2.5%, and this time I am uh, putting it in as a percent. The amount that I'm borrowing is $1,000, and I am making 12 payments per year. Once I've entered all of that, I can press F4 to calculate my payment, and the calculator says that that is going to be $84.47. And so I can con continue this. Um, by just changing those inputs. And I've completed the table for you just so that you can see the different amounts that you'll be paying depending on what your interest rate is and depending on how long you decide to borrow the money. All right, so here's an example. Let's say you buy a car for $38,000 and you take out a five-year loan at 6% interest. How much are your monthly payments going to be? So again, we go to that same financial menu and we select the compound interest uh, option and we are putting in the inputs for that. So because we are making monthly payments for five years, that means that we are making 60 payments overall. That's what N represents. The interest rate is 6%. The amount that we are borrowing is 38,000 and the payments per year is 12. Okay, so we've entered all of that in and then we press F4 for payment and we get that our payment per month will be $734.65. All right, our total payment over five years, since we are paying $734.65 every month for 60 months, then our total payment is going to be $44,079.
And so the total interest that I will pay is going to be that amount, that total repayment, minus the amount that I originally borrowed, which was $38,000. So over the course of five years, I am paying $6,079 in interest. All right, so that is um, a quick lesson on loans and how to pay them back. If you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.